Good morning, folks. We've got that big earthquake forecasted. Solar flares are on the rise. Top science news and more here as we're starting by watching the northern active region develop those flares. Same area we saw yesterday, pumping out the x-rays. Not so much in terms of plasma for CMEs. The filaments around the periphery are handling that one. As of now, there isn't a lot heading our way, but we definitely need to monitor that beast up on the north as it enters Earth-facing position while maintaining its flaring potential, with a delta or near-delta class interaction of positive and negative at the trailing spots within the group. You might recall that the coronal hole and several other items set the earthquake watch for higher magnitudes this week. It took a 7.3 earthquake this morning. It was rapidly downgraded by the USGS to 6.9 out in the middle of the water, who's going to call them on it? Either way, Seismic Watch is continuing as we move to two fantastic pieces from the upcoming EGU assembly as we continue highlighting their top sessions. The forcing of the electric current and particles is the future of this field, and every new discovery takes away from the blame on CO2. They also managed to sneak the instantaneous solar forcing to the ground level in here in their 2017 storm analysis. Those instant pathways are critical. But looking over longer time scales as we step away from the EGU abstracts for a moment, if any of you recall those paleoclimate disagreements where they'd run their CO2-based models into the past and nothing worked. Well, they're making it work now. How? By adding the sun and volcanoes. Not joking, and that's geophysical research letters. Lastly, folks, we are back at the EGU abstracts, but with a wag of the finger. While it's great to be studying the great magnetic events across different timescales, if you are leaving out key events, you have already cheated yourself out of the truth. Here, they mark Lechamp and Mono Lake as the last excursions, which is really going to jack up your analysis considering that there's little doubt now about the magnetic dip at the NOAA event, and that is part of your playlist you should have already watched, listed below the video, and with that, yeah, focusing on Lechamp and Mono Lake are truly unhelpful if you're trying to understand these major cycles of the planet do seem to be about 6,000 years as the half harmonic of the 12,000 year cycle. Of course, I hope I'm just reviewing for most of you. All of this is in the new book. All of this is in the playlist. How to predict earthquakes like we did this week is in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun and the new supplement. The NOAA event is detailed in the supplement as well. Folks, if you want a heads up on the science we'll see coming out all year and next and the year after, otf.cells.com. Find our books there. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.